Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Scorpio weekly money and career reading from September 25th to October 1st, 2023. And yes, we are entering October. I cannot believe this is going to be October 1st. Scorpios, let's see what messages, what energies we have coming in for this upcoming week, September 25th, October 1st, money and career for the sign of Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we got. Seems like you're you're holding your you're you're holding your spot. You're standing you in your energy, protecting your space, protecting your ideas, your your work, sorting things out. It seems like you have to make a decision here, Queen of Swords. You're 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 sharp, you're on the ball. You know You know you want to <laughs> It's I, I'm laughing. I'm sorry, Scorpio. It's like you know you want to speak, you know you want to speak your truth. You know there are a lot of things you have to say, but you're controlling you're not gonna do your scorpio thing you're going to sort everything out yes keep your space keep um it's almost like keeping your words to yourself not your ideas keeping your words your sharp words to yourself because it's 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 sort of mastering you know your doubts your fears mastering whatever it is that you need to sort out you're keeping it to yourself <laughs> yes so even if it's stressful there you go you're keeping it to yourself it is yet again an internalization of your choices of your dynamic of what you're starting here what you're pushing forward there is a new beginning here with the ace of wands it's a new dynamic you're creating something new your intuition is on par action forward scorpio action forward so even though it takes a minute for you to sort everything out with with all the stress that's going on and this new dynamic you're keeping calm you're mastering all this i like this i love this strength card here scorpio because this is all new we're going to pull more cards to see where this is going is this a new job is this um a new opportunity you have are you working with new people are you developing a new idea um or you know or is it just you now in your new dynamic because the strength card is having the courage that self-control to master your instincts and keep free keep that autonomy right to in your convictions in your ideas in your way in your choices right mastering it's almost like you're you're going uh you're empowered to surpass right what you really want to say you're very powerful in that and i think to not you know to not speak your mouth or speak your mouth speak your mind that's what i meant Apologies for that. I don't like speak your mouth. That's not very pretty. Um, but yeah, so you're you're not doing it. You're really in control. But that is like, um, it's almost like a superpower, Scorpio, that you have 
mastered along the way during this whole period of transition of figuring things out, but I have to say the last couple of years, um, you've learned to do that in stressful moments, in doubts, in fears, in um, questionable times, moments, people. Um, you have almost like dedicated that lesson learned, right? Dedicated yourself to learn that lesson, to not get overwhelmed, overpowered in situations that are not worth it and not having to speak your mind or give your advice or um, give your opinion. Nope. Taking a step back, processing or not, and just moving on. Because it's such, um, it's such a, a, I don't want to say a better way. It's such a, a peaceful, it's so much more peaceful than being combative constantly, right? Um, you're saving your energy for what is worth it. You're saving your energy for empowerment, for passion, for like-minded people, for interesting, intelligent, ambitious situations, and not for the day-to-day. -day. I know it sounds a little condescending, but not for the day-to-day -day minutia. Not worth it. All right. Let's see what's happening here. We have people, people. So, King of Pentacles, someone very installed in life, generous, generous with their, their finances, their time, their knowledge. This is someone that's there for you. And we have the Queen of Wands. So, uh, sorry, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Doesn't have to be, but you have a lot of people here. One, two, three. Um, it's, it's, these are, might be people you're working with. These are, might be people that are offering you a new opportunity or a new, dy or just putting you in a new dynamic. So, for example, if you're working on something at work, right, in a company, um, there, these are people that trust you, that like to have you on their team and that are going to push you in, in, you know, in the right direction to maybe take more responsibility or to work on a, a really passionate project, an interesting project, or to be on the right team, or, you know, they know that it's best to have you in their corner. And so, it's almost like they know what you've been through. They know how complicated it was maybe in the past couple of years. So maybe these are people that know you. I like this Ace of Wands here. Beautiful. I. It's not automatically a new job or a whole new process, but it's definitely a new dynamic. Yes, ego, ego, put your ego in your pocket. This is a new dynamic, right? This is something new. I feel like there's another card that wants to come out. Um, it's almost like you're afraid of your own ego, right? You're keeping it in your pocket and you don't want to, you know, it's okay, Scorpio. It's okay. You're good. You've processed. You've learned. You've matured. Uh, and you can, I want to say, wisdom it out, right? Uh, not worth it. Not worth it. And none of these um, little triggers are worth it unless it serves your empowerment. New empowerment. Look at this. Wheel of Fortune. Yep. Moving forward. And when I say it's a whole new dynamic, it's a whole new dynamic, right? It's, it's, um, it's luck. It's a period of luck, a period of change, but it's like, 
everything is moving forward smoothly one thing after the other ascending ascending in a positive way um it, it's it, it can be quick a quick evolution but it, it's really just for me it's just a period of growth and you're ascending to your next goal whatever it is for you making more money getting that job starting your business changing careers whatever it is it's that phase that ascendant phase right where you're you're growing you're blossoming um any activity is possible any promotion is possible doors are opening in front of you and it's sort of people want you on their team there you are scorpio queen of cups but one two three four four people here around you and can be more just just represents a lot of um a lot of dynamic a lot of action a lot of um ambition around you uh to push forward on projects on ideas um you're there you're there you're comfortable financially i like this and you there you are two of wands opening up your horizons you're you're establishing establishing yourself in a bigger way in a bigger perspective bigger goals bigger world out there putting yourself out there your goals are so much more um yeah so much bigger you're thinking bigger you're thinking more interesting wider possibilities right it's all about you um advancing to the next echelon if that makes sense but to your new world to your new echelon it'll be different for everyone right but it's almost like adding medals i'm seeing uh, in the military like adding medals to your to your your vest to your collection because you're gonna go on other adventures and you're you deserve medals for what you do wow interesting very interesting um let's pull the uh cards from the next deck it, it it's really stabilizing in a good way you know bringing bringing you a certain serenity harmony uh your balanced your whatever it is even if you haven't started yet this new journey this new dynamic you're you're really in a good shape your your mindset is appeased is calm ready to receive and at the same time you have a whole different dimension of you know ambitions you can move mountains right now scorpio and you know the wonderful thing even though you still have an ego there and that's giving you a little anxiety keep it in your pocket you know you can go places other people don't even think of in a good way this in a good way because it can be in a bad way too no no no. this this time i i mean it in a good way right with this wheel of fortune the you know your energy is now in good luck in good karma it's positive you are positive but you have changed the direction and the dynamic of this wheel with your mindset you're a different person your approach is positive you're going in positive wherever you go but your capacity to work and your capacity to to um create whatever you bring to the table is ginormous right you you are always a center piece of the puzzle whether it be positive or negative you are always an important piece of the puzzle not that other people are not important but you know exactly what i mean scorpio for the good and for the bad 
no one forgets about you, Scorpio. All right, here we go. Yes, look at this. Time, time to make this all happen. If you're doubting yourself, Scorpio, you got this. You got this. You, your potential is so high right now. This is a new, it's almost like it's a new found echelon position. New, it's like you're in a different stage of your potential. Creative, very creative, very resourceful. And you're in that dynamic right now. Push forward, Scorpio. Whatever it is you want to make happen, this is now with this with the magician. This it is now. Push your potential. Push your ideas. Knock on doors. Meet people. Put your ideas out there. Put your talent out there. It's time. Look at this. Ace of I mean you have Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups. You're in the right spot with the right team. People are listening to you. People look at you and look at your talent. You can develop something. People will listen to you and people will help you, guide you, or open doors for you if they need to or if you want them to. Ten of Swords. Yes, done. Done with the nonsense. Done with the nonsense. That's why you have... The Seven of Wands here. You have the, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the anxiety you have about, you know, past situations or not even past situations. It, it, it's the ego. It's your ego mindset. And I think that it, the, the battle is between you and yourself. And that is the end of that cycle between you and yourself. So imagine you have cycles in a job, in a situation, the end of a partnership, the end of what I, everybody has different cycles, right? Your end of cycle is between you and yourself and that ego. And you have done a fantastic job. Pat yourself on the back, um, uh, Scorpio. So even if you're freaked out sometimes because you want to do good, you want to remain in that positive energy, in that empowering energy where people see you powerful, creative, a creative being. You, it's your time to shine, Scorpio. It is your time to shine. So even if you're freaked out and you understand that even if people like what you do or like the way you work or like your ideas or, you know, whatever it is, um, you inside always have those doubts, right? The hermit always have those doubts. You are always in introspection. I say that every time. Scorpio is in permanent, perpetual introspection. Deeper or less deep, right? Right now, I feel like Scorpio is surfing a wave of positivity and pushing forward um, beautiful ideas and um, uh, exciting new projects and and not being afraid of negativity that you might bring in, right? No, that's in the past and you let that go. You let that go. And that's why you're in perpetual introspection, right? Uh, you're, you, if you feel that anxiety or you feel that, that, um, that energy, that negative energy, then you go back into introspection. Try not to be too much in that and try not to be too analytical because, you know, if as you're positive and these are really, really beautiful cards, they're also loving cards, loving yourself, uh, seeing the people around you, seeing the colors around you, because this has been a long time, Scorpio. A long time waiting. So acknowledge your place in the world. Acknowledge your power. Acknowledge the love for others and uh, the, loves, the love that others have for you. And don't let yourself down. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. There's a decision there. 
and the three of wands. We have the two of wands, yes, and the three of wands. Opening up to the world, ready for success. Ready for success. Now, don't be, don't be scared. Um, Scorpio, you're not scared. You, you might not want to do something or you might not be ready to do something or it might not be that interesting or it might not be with the exact people you want or something like that, but open up, be there, communicate, test it out, test the waters, go see what's happening. Go see what's happening out there. No matter what, go check it out. You're at a crossroads here, Scorpio. I mean, my oh my. Two aces, <coughs> a magician, a wheel of fortune, ten of pentacles. Doesn't get better than that. Yes, there's mindsets and egos and situations and obstacles. Yes, well, that... That's an everyday life. That goes without saying. But <clears throat> time is now, Scorpio. Time is now. Let me just grab a little drink. All right. Let's see. I love these two aces and the magician. And, you know, it's time, Scorpio. You got this. You got this. Because the magician, for me, doesn't mean, oh, you're receiving and, you know, whatever you want, you got and you manifested and it's just coming. No, the magician means for me that you did the job, you did the work. Now's the time to put yourself out there because you have everything you need to make it happen. Now's the action time, not to wait and see because that's what you wanted and you manifested and that's what you deserve. No, no, no. The magician appears when it's time. Time to get out there. Time to receive, but to receive while being present, action, purpose, intention, doing the work, and you will see that the energies will be fluid and the doors will open. But you do not manifest sitting on the couch. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road. Scorpio, weekly, money and career, September 25th to October 1st. Scorpio, please comment down below. Let me know if you connect to these energies or share your story, your journey. Um, and for anyone out there that enjoys these readings or finds finds them meaningful or it, maybe it gives clarity to certain people or maybe it gives motivation or wisdom or whatever, right? Um, and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing especially if you come around every week and you enjoy watching these readings Scorpio you are number one out there um thank you to each and every one for your support your dynamic your energy I feel your energy every every reading I put out there Scorpio is always there so for anybody that hasn't subscribed yet for me asking Scorpio to subscribe is almost like a natural thing Scorpio so thank you to each and every one from the bottom of my heart really for supporting this channel and helping me push forward in my energies thank you all right let's see what we have here the lovers beautiful you're clear you got this knight of pentacles take your time very good assess what's going on around you check it out check the people out check what you want to push forward what you want to develop take your time take your time when i say push 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 that doesn't mean doing things you know without thinking or impulsively or you know rash decisions no it means get yourself out there scorpio because things are happening doors are opening energy is there the good good energy is there to push forward so 
when you connect with people, when you connect with a job or an idea or whatever, take your time though, right? Take your time to absorb the information, to um, assess or reassess and see what there is you can do or how you can implement, how you can do it and then move forward all while being organized and aware and understanding. Ego in the pocket, ego in the pocket. You can step by step maneuver your way. Think it out, four of swords. And nine of pentacles, wow. So here we are with this nine of pentacles becoming financially abundant, financially independent, yet four of swords, take a break. So as everything develops and as you connect with people and these new opportunities and this new journey because clearly you're going on a new journey something's happening here there's a clear decision here with the lovers as you're moving forward take a moment take your time knight of pentacles four of swords take your time take some rest take time out right to absorb all energies and absorb all possibilities to be able to be present in the moment and take it step by step scorpio absolutely amazing reading scorpio i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did again thank you to each and every one for supporting this channel for sharing your energies along the way don't forget to thumbs up and please subscribe. Um, I am going to try to offer a few free readings by the end of the year, um, or at least until the end of the year. Uh, so please make sure you're subscribed and comment down below so I can see what everybody has to say. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.